study traces the origin and spread of HIV in Indonesia, the HIV variant dominant in Indonesia was introduced from Thailand over multiple events. The Kobe University study traces where it came from and how it spread from there, offering insights of possible value to the development of treatments against the disease. HIV is the virus causing AIDS, but one of the things that make it so difficult to treat is that there are many variants of it. Kobe University virologist Kamioka Masanori says, the diversity is increasing every day and the prevalent virus strains differ from region to region around the world. Knowing which variants of the virus are prevalent in a given region and how it spreads from one to another is relevant, not only to better trace the epidemic, but also to ensure that treatments are deployed against those variants that are most likely to occur in any given region. In Indonesia, the fourth most populous country on earth, only a third of the affected have access to anti-HIV drugs, and little is known about the circulating strains. Indonesia is recognized as one of the countries where the HIV-AIDS pandemic is still expanding. Kobe University has established a joint research center for infectious diseases at the Institute of Tropical Diseases at the Universitas Erlanga, Indonesia, and so we decided to decode the viral genome from blood samples of individuals infected with HIV-1, out of the two main HIV types, the one causing the vast majority of AIDS cases worldwide around the country to clarify the viral transmission trends. Their findings, now published in the journal Scientific Reports, show that all of the analyzed viruses belong to a strain called crf one ae first identified in Thailand. But their detailed analysis shows that from there, the virus was brought to Indonesia at least three different times, sometimes via different countries such as Vietnam and Laos. And while it was Thai substrains that spread to most of Southeast Asia and also to other parts of the world, it was an Indonesian substrain that moved on to Iran. In the paper, the researchers write, as a country with a high incidence of HIV-1 infection in Southeast Asia, Indonesia may contribute to the spread of HIV to other Asian countries. With their data, the Kobe University research team could trace the timeline of the spread of the crf one ae strain. Having originally emerged in Africa, it probably was brought to Thailand around 1977, from where it started to spread through Southeast Asia. It probably first entered Indonesia around 1980, then again via Laos around 1983 and via Vietnam around 1985. Only then, in 1985, it was recorded for the first time in Thailand and according to the WHO has been the dominant strain of HIV in Southeast Asia since 1990 and has become the dominant strain in East Asia, including also China and Japan, in the last decade, Kamioka explains the importance of pursuing this line of research. I personally believe that it is important to constantly monitor and accumulate information on viral genome genetic information in endemic areas. As viruses causing infectious diseases can change their properties due to genetic variation, such information could also be useful for control and countermeasures against infectious diseases by estimating epidemic routes and transmission trends.